I got this um, brush and it's actually for a I'm not gonna say the name it's like Voldemort you know uh, but uh, I'm gonna try to make it work on this who's corner rider instead starting to get this a little bit mocked up like this uh, I'll put a plate here a spring in there for the tension of this belt and then I have taken a measurement on this belt here what it should be and I will be cutting up this and having something between that bar there and this bar here and I need some kind of bushing for this also but I think this will be good it's uh, you know it's it's only for level ground so I think it it's not it doesn't have to move that much uh, so I, I haven't figured out the lifting yet but uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it uh, just run <laughs> something here uh, it's getting dark and it's getting rainy so uh, I'm real happy with this result this was a couple of hours of work and um, maybe more like a mock-up but it seems to work now that I know that this works I will uh, take it apart and uh, replace these uh, flimsy pieces here with some a little bit more heavy-duty stuff Here's the material I'll be using. some more r and d to do here. Did some adjustments. See if this works.
Yeah, <laughs> there is some adjustments to do. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think uh, I, sh I need these support wheels here. It didn't come with those, but I think they'll look the same as this one, probably. So I could probably make something. I think it's better to have it in the rear than in the front. And uh, it really brushes. <laughs> so I'm gonna weld this up now and um, see uh, see if I can get this thing to work good. Uh, I think it's it is really promising. You see how much uh, dead grass it actually got away from here. <laughs> cool. Just painted this very fast. It's it's gonna be underneath the his corner rider, so you won't be able to see it. And that's good because my wells are <coughs> lacking, but they'll hold. Uh, last thing to do is I need to make some more support legs because I only got one. I did this, but this wheel is so small, so I'm buying bigger wheels and um, yeah do some support legs next and then it's time to really try it out uh, the only thing I actually bought for this uh, project was this um, like rod here and uh, some support wheels so uh, I'm gonna cast Cut this to the right length and then add these wheels so I have um, yeah, right support. <laughs> This little welder is actually quite okay. Uh, I don't have any gas for it because it's this is ruined. So I run it without uh, gas, only the, the flus wire. And the reason it's good, it's, it says here, it's, it's a turbo. So then you know it's a good product. No grease at all. Let's add some grease here.
I'll try this out before I paint them. Uh, color is dry and uh, I'm gonna put this together and uh, try it out and show the real purpose of this because there was a very specific reason I got this brush and converted it. So um, yeah, uh, let's go time lapse. <laughs>
too filthy. That actually worked kind of great. It is, uh, it is a bit hard to set these wheels on the correct height, but I think uh, I got it right. And once they're right, once they are at the right height, you can just leave it like that. Um, the screw that holds the like, casing for the wire it came loose, so I have to fix that and then. Um, do some cleaning. Uh, there is a little bit of noise from the belt. I think it, it actually hits like this here. But uh, I think it's okay. I'm not gonna fix it. I will only use this for a few hours. Yeah, or maybe. Yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, so I think this is the problem here. This one is probably hitting here somewhere. Or, yeah. Okay, so we have to adjust that a little bit. Um, except for those two issues, it worked great. Let's adjust this correctly. We want it to be like let's say I don't want the choke to go on. So I, I want to look at the I want to be able to see like the position here. Oh. No. Here's this is full throttle, and you're supposed to fold it and get it into choke here. And when you move the cable here, you can see now that this here activates the choke. So it's like now it's off. And now it's on. So I want it like that. With the full throttle. Yeah. Right. I'd say that is perfect. Super duper mega perfect. So look tight. Full throttle and then put it in choke like that. Yeah, I think it's, it doesn't go further.
I've had some problems with this throttle lever here that you have it on full throttle but it backs down. I removed the screw from here and there was a bunch of um, washers here so I think someone has tried to solve it with a bunch of washers but I don't know how that would help. I think probably need some kind of spring or something. I'm gonna look in the in the IPL, the Illustrated Parts list, and see how it should look. So I just googled uh, Rider 13 IPL, and then I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like there should be like a bunch of washers here. Oh crap! Sorry. Um, but I'm gonna try and put one of these spring washer there and yeah, see if it, see if it works. Yeah. You cannot just tighten it because then you can't move it like this. Otherwise, you could just tighten it real hard, but... So I tried to brush out for a while, uh, hitched hike ride on here, and then when we came home, my wife, she stopped a bit sudden and uh, burned a hole in my pant. But um, uh, I don't think she did it on purpose. Uh, but there's one thing that I need to fix, and it is this lift mechanism, because even though I have that spring to help, it is very hard uh, to lift it and uh, my wife she wants to use this herself so I need to do something about that. My idea on how to do this is to uh, take this lifting chain you see when you pull here yeah, you pull in that chain um, take this chain and uh, add some more chain to it uh, and the chain it goes down it comes down with this wheel here so it goes down there and uh, I'm planning on making like a loop and then connecting it to the mover itself and use this here as a lifting point and this will be like a gear reduction so it will be half the force needed to pull, but it will only travel half the distance. So I have no idea if this works, but uh, I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, it's a bit longer. And uh, I had someone ask me about lube, about this chain. And ju I just used some dry lube, which is actually like Teflon lube. Um, because I don't want uh, grass to be sticking on in some oil or something like that so I, I think that would be good there's it's just a lifting chain so it doesn't there's no cog wheels or anything like that I got to borrow a really great welder from a friend of mine and uh, now you can start really do stuff stick welding yes it's good but this is so much better. Yeah, sure. Down here is where I put another screw to hold this chain. 
and I can lift up this screw and uh, put it in another place if I want more lift height or less. And I think I want a little bit more now. Hmm. So that's maximum. And now, yeah, I think that's good. And the, the lifting force is really quite reduced. Feels good. We need to do this one thing before. This uh, uh, this sticker is no longer possible to buy. I was like, I would just have gotten a new one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the knife isn't the best. Totally. Look, looks like totally original sticker and fooling everyone here. Yes. Yeah, looks great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this anti leg burner back on here. That's why I removed it in the first place. This uh, there's like a double steel plate here, and makes a noise.
would say that this project is done now. Uh, I'm gonna try and use it this winter uh, to get snow off our patios where we don't want to use um, you know, a, a snow blade or something like that. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye. Tryck in knappen och drar bakåt. Du kan börja när du vill. Du får dra den kanske bakåt först på sängknappen. Nu? Ja, så gick det. Okej, okay. känn på den nu om du ska köra med den. Brrrr. Ja. Lyft upp den nu då. Då drar den med lite sjung liksom. Nej, det, nej, ingen knapp. Bara dra den med sjung. Ja, men det där klarar du väl själv. Ja. Nu var det hälften så tungt som förut. Ja. Då var det för tungt. Ja. Bara man gjorde det där knicksen. Ja. Det är min dåliga här. Haha. Snyggt jobbat. I have some more R&Ding to do here.